Have you ever heard of a thirsty entrepreneur? Are you one? Or maybe you even know somebody that's a thirsty entrepreneur. Does, is that a good thing or is that a bad thing? Well, in this video, I wanna share that with you. My name's Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. And today's video is, are you a thirsty entrepreneur? Is that a good thing or is it really a bad thing? And so before we jump in today, I just wanna share, it's Memorial Day and I just wanna pay my biggest respect to all those that did not come home over the years to their friends, to their family, their loved ones, as they gave the ultimate sacrifice to our country. And so I wanna give that and you know, having a lot of brothers and sisters being in the Marine Corps myself, uh, and some of them not coming home, you know, today we honor you. And if you're watching this video and, and you're a veteran or an active duty member, thank you for your service. We greatly appreciate the freedoms that we have today. And then I always like to throw out there that crypto is had a big drop this weekend and it went, it's going up and who knows where it's gonna be, but in the intermediate session, it's it's looking like it's going up. If you're one of those people that you're a long-term investor and you wanna stake your money, you may wanna put it in Blockify or some of these other ones where you can stake your coins. I love talking about this stuff uh, because it's all about making more money for our families, for our community, for the world, to be able to make a bigger and better impact. That's why you make money, is to make a better impact, to make magical moments with your loved ones. So, all right, let's jump in. <clears throat> what is a thirsty entrepreneur? because a lot of times I've been dealing with this and I'll share a little bit about how I was a thirsty entrepreneur. And so what that looks like, a thirsty entrepreneur, how you can tell a thirsty entrepreneur is they, and I got my notes here, it's the energy, the energy that they bring. Are they desperate or are they hungry? Right, there's a big distinction. Be like, oh my God, help me, help me, help me. Versus, hey, I wanna learn. Like, I wanna be able to get this. Like, tell me, let's go. There's a huge distinction. They're in this scarcity mindset. A thirsty entrepreneurs had scarcity mindset versus the abundance mindset. They're always in lack. How can I do it the cheapest? How can I, you know, hire the, the get the most out of a coach, a mentor, you know, with paying the least? Who is the cheapest price? I've been there, I've hired the cheapest people, and I got the cheapest results possible. And I've also hired quality people and spent a lot of money on things and I got a great ROI. So that's how you can tell. The thirsty entrepreneur, they're very, <clears throat> they live in doubt versus believing. Well, you tell them what to do and they're like, well, this might not work. But the, uh, the abundant one, the one that believes are like, cool, got it. It's going to, this is the result coming, right? Let's go. Um, they have this spraying and praying mentality, right? Like that's the visualization I get. Verse being targeted and certain, right? Like they're not gonna go through a plethora of options. They're gonna say, okay, this is the one option. Let's rock, let's roll. Um, the thirsty entrepreneur, they have their hands in multiple pots instead of really mastering one and being, you know, mastering one first and then being able to move on and as they conquer this one revenue stream, this one business, whatever it might be for you. They, the thirsty entrepreneur, we send, we see them tend to swing for defenses. Like they just want to hit the home run all the time or versus singling them to death, right? Like Babe Ruth, at one point he had the most home runs, but he also had the most strikeouts too. And so you got to pick your poison, but the, the uh, thirsty entrepreneur, they're always looking like, oh my God, is crypto going to be my home run? Is, you know, internet marketing going to be my home run? And when it's really, it's not about hitting home runs, it's about singling them to death. So that's it. Now, here's what I will say. I was a thirsty entrepreneur. And what I meant by that was, I was always looking for others to give me success. When I was in Amway and network marketing, I always wanted my mentors and my uplines to be able to hand me success. And I was always like, what do, what's the least amount of work I need to do, get the biggest return, right? Like that was the goal. And I found myself kind of getting, in a position where people that were more successful than me, they didn't wanna be around me. They didn't wanna to talk to me as much. It's not that they weren't there to help. It's just, 
I don't know what it was. It was like, it was, we were making, I was making it harder for them to want to be around me. It's kind of like that relationship where you have this needy partner. They're just like, I want to be with you. And then when they're not with you, they're like, I'm going to text you all the time, like 24 seven. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, when do you want to come over? When do you want to come over? It's like, ah, it's like, ah, it's like, we just want to stay away. Right? So that's kind of like the energy is like, they're desperate. They're, they're, they're not hungry. They're not confident. They're not certain. So what do you do? Well, what you do is you got to, what do you do about it? Should I say first, you have to work on your confidence. You have to get extremely confident in yourself, your skill set. Uh, you got to become that better version of you. Personal development, listening to books, reading books, going to events, coaches, mentors, seminars, um, investing in group coaching programs. Those were some of the things that I've done to help with my confidence. Uh, also, visualization helps you. You got to visualize your future. Visualize you being a confident individual. You visualize you actually doing the work and then reaping the reward versus you just getting a reward and hoping someone else does the work for you. Um, <clears throat> this is a big one. I always like to say, don't fake it till you make it in public. Right? You don't want to be in public and try and act like you got it all going on when people know you really don't. But you do want to fake it till you make it when you're by yourself. If you're walking around your house or your apartment, you want to be, or walking down the street, you want to walk around like you're successful, like you've made it. You want to feel that feeling of being successful, of having that business grow, having you know the money come in the bank, the making the impact, to having people look up to you. You want to fake it till you make it on your own, but not in public. That's how you make that shift because it's all about how you feel. Because if you go into a, to a business and you're skeptical, your scarce mindset, all that, you're not going to get the results as if you're confident, resourceful, and certain that you're going to make things happen. So no one wants to thirsty, be a thirsty entrepreneur. No one wants to be around a thirsty entrepreneur. So if you're identifying as Joe, this is me to the T, I need to make a shift. Well, if you don't know how to do that after some of these things here, why don't you fill out the description below, in the description below is a one-on-one -on -one coaching application. Allow me and one of our coaches to be able to help you and support you specifically on where you're being held back. And if you don't know, we'll help point that out for you. So you gotta make that shift. No one wants a thirsty entrepreneur. It's not a good thing, but being a hungry entrepreneur, that's a whole nother thing where you're confident, you're certain. And so for me, I consider myself a hungry entrepreneur. If I need something, I'll go pay for it. Like, I'm like, I want to go find the best. I know they can help me get the result. So I'm going to pay for it. Let's go. And I go into it, the mindset of, it's not a matter of, will it happen? It's like, it will happen just how quickly. And that's what I have to do. That's where I focus on me and how much work I need to do. So if you identify as a hungry entrepreneur, kudos to you. If you're a thirsty entrepreneur, let's shift. Let's make that shift because no one wants to be around a thirsty entrepreneur, but they do want to be around a hungry entrepreneur because people like to be around people like themselves. Successful people are confident. Unsuccessful people, not so much, not always. So with that, if you found value, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and also that notification button so you know when we're coming out with videos three times a week for you guys. And most importantly, I'd love to hear back. Are you a thirsty entrepreneur or a hungry entrepreneur? Comment below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Maybe you think it's stupid. Maybe you think it's awesome. I don't care. Let me know. I want to find out what are your thoughts. So with that, my name's Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. Have a great one. See you guys.